Bengali literature Bengali, Banla Sahitya, Bangla Sahityo, denotes the body of writings in the Bengali language. The earliest extant work in Bengali literature is the Charyapada, a collection of Buddhist mystic songs dating back to the 10th and 11th centuries. Thereafter, the timeline of Bengali literature is divided into two periods minus medieval 1360 and modern after 1800. Medieval Bengali literature consists of various poetic genres, including Hindu religious scriptures e Mangalkavya, Islamic epics e works of Syed Sultan and Abdul Hakim, translations of Sanskrit, Arabic and Persian texts, Vaishnava texts e biographies of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and secular texts by Muslim poets e works of Novels were introduced to Bengali literature in the mid-19th century. Rabindranath Tagore, poet, playwright, novelist, painter, essayist, musician, and social reformer, is the best-known figure of Bengali literature to the world. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. After the post-partition era, Bengali literature comprises literature of erstwhile East Pakistan modern-day Bangladesh and of West Bengal. Topic: <laughs> Old Bengali literature. The first works in Bengali, written in New Bengali, appeared between 10th and 12th centuries CE. It is generally known as the Charyapada. These are mystic songs composed by various Buddhist seer poets, Luapada, Kanhapada, Kukuripada, Chattalpada, Busukupada, Kamalapada, Dendhanpada, Shantipada, Shabarapada etc. The famous Bengali linguist Hariprasad Shastri discovered the palm leaf Charyapada manuscript in the Nepal Royal Court Library in 1907. Middle Bengali literature <laughs> Pre-Chaitanya Vaishnava literature Pre-Chaitanya or early Vaishnava literature denotes the literature of the time preceding the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the founder of Gaudiya Vaishnavism. These include, Sri Krishna Kritana by Boru Chanditas, lyrical poems, known as the Vaishnava Padavali of Vidyapati and Chanditas, Sri Krishna Vijaya, the partial translation of Bhagavata Purana by Maladar Basu and Kritavasi Ramayana by Kritivas Ojha. Sri <laughs> Krishna Kirtana Vasanta Ranjan Roy Bidyatvalava discovered the torn manuscript of the Sri Krishna Kirtana from the cowshed of Dabendranath Chatterjee's house at Kakinlia village, Bankura district in modern-day Pashambanga West Bengal. Sri Krishna Kirtana was written by Boru Chanditas in the later half of 14th century CE. It is considered as the second oldest work of Bengali literature after Charyapada. Vaishnava lyrics by Vidyapati and Chanditas The 15th century is marked by the emergence of Vaishnava lyrical poetry or the Padavali in Bengal. The poetry of Vidyapati, the great mightily poet, though not written in Bengali, influenced the literature of the time so greatly that it makes him a vital part of Middle Bengali literature. He flourished in the modern-day Darbhanga district of Bihar, India in the 14th century. His Vaishnava lyrics became very popular among the masses of Bengal. The first major Bengali poet to write Vaishnava lyrics was Chanditas, who belonged to the modern-day Burbam district or, according to another opinion, Bankura district, Pashambanga in the 15th century. Chanditas is also known for his humanist proclamation, Subhar upare manush satya, tahar upare nai. Sabara upare manusa satya tahara upare nai. The supreme truth is man, there is nothing more important than he is. <laughs> Maladar Basu and Kritibas Ojha The Bengali translations of two great Sanskrit texts the Bhagavata Purana and the Ramayana played a crucial role in the development of Middle Bengali literature. Maladar Basu's Sri Krishna Vijaya, Srikrishna Vijaya Triumph of Lord Krishna, which is chiefly a translation of the 10th and 11th cantos of the Bhagavata Purana, is the earliest Bengali narrative poem that can be assigned to a definite date. 
Maladar Basu flourished in the modern-day Bartaman district of Pashambanga in the 15th century. Composed between 1473 and 1480 CE, Sri Krishna Vijaya is also the oldest Bengali narrative poem of the Krishna legend, the Ramayana, under the title of Sri Rama Panchali, more popularly known as the Kritabasi Ramayana, was translated by Kritibas Ojha who belonged to the modern-day Nadia district, Pashambanga. He also, like Maladar Basu, flourished in the 15th century. Post-Chaitanya Vaishnava literature Post-Chaitanya or late Vaishnava literature denotes the literature of the time succeeding the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. These include, biographies of Chaitanya by Gaudiya Vaishnava scholar-poets and later Vaishnava Padavali with a special subgenre based on the life of Chaitanya. Major figures of the late Vaishnava literature are Krishnadasa Kaviraja, Vrindavana Dasa Thakura, Jayananda, Govindadasa, Jainandada, Balaram Dasa etc. Mangal Kavya Mangal Kavya Poems of Benediction a group of Hindu narrative poetry, composed more or less between 13th century and 18th century, eulogized the indigenous deities of rural Bengal in the social scenario of the Middle Ages. Mansa Mongol, Khandi Mongol, and Dihormo Mongol. The three major genus of Mongol Kavya tradition include the portrayal of the magnitude of Manasa, Khandi, and Dharmathakur, who are considered the greatest among all the native divinities in Bengal, respectively. There are also minor Mongol Kabuzamagro known as Shivayan, Kalika Mongol, Ray Mongol, Shashthi Mongol, Shatal Mongol, and Kamola Mongol, etc. Major poets of Mangalkavya tradition are Mukundram Chakrabarti, Bijay Gupta, Rupram Chakrabarti, etc. Topic: 19th century. In the middle of 19th century, Bengali literature gained momentum. During this period, the Bengali pandits of Fort William College did the tedious work of translating the textbooks in Bengali to help teach the British some Indian languages including Bengali. This work played a role in the background in the evolution of Bengali prose. In 1814, Raja Ram Mohan Roy arrived in Calcutta and engaged in literary pursuits. Translating from Sanskrit to Bengali, writing essays on religious topics and publishing magazines were some of the areas he focused on. He established a cultural group in the name of Atmiya Sabha Club of Kins in 1815. Another significant contributor of Bengali literature in its early stage was Ishwar Chandra Bandiopadhyaya. In 1857, the famous Sipahi Bidroha Sipoy Mutiny took place. With the wind of it, Nil Bidroho Indigo Revolt scattered all over then Bengal region. This Nil Bidroha lasted for more than a year in 1859-1860. The literature world was shaken with this revolt. In the light of this revolt, a great drama was published from Dhaka in the name of Nil Darpan The Indigo Mirror. Dinabandhu Mitra was the writer of this play. Topic. Michael Madhusudan Dutt Michael Madhusudan Dutt (1824–1873) introduced blank verse, Amitrakshar Chanda, literary epics and sonnets in Bengali language. Dutt's first epic, Tilatama Sambab Kabia, Tilatama Sambaba Kabia, Birth of Tilatama, was published in 1860. This was the first Bengali poem written in blank verse. The story of Tilatama Sambab Kabia is taken from Hindu Puranas. Dutt's greatest work Mignad Badh Kabiya, Meganadabada Kabiya Slaying of Mignad was published in two parts in 1861. The story of Mignad Badh Kabiya was borrowed from Hindu epic the Ramayana and deals chiefly the final battle, death and funeral of Mignad, son of Ravana during the Lanka War. Dutt also wrote a lyrical poem Brajangana Kavya, Brajangana Kabiya Women from Braj, 1861 and an epistolary poem Barangana Kavya, Barangana Kabiya Valiant Ladies, 1861-62. Dutt's last book of poems, Chatterdashpati Kabitabali, Katardasapati Kabitabali Sonnets, is a collection of 102 sonnets written at Versailles, France in 1865. 
Dutt also wrote four plays Sharmishtha, Sarmistha 1859, Padmavati, Padmavati 1860, Krishnakumari, Krishnakumari 1861, and Maya Kanan, Maya Kanana The Magical Forest, 1874, and two farces Ek Ki Bol Sabyata. Ek Ki Bail Sabyata Is That What You Call Good Manners, 1860, and Buro Shalakar Gari Ro, Buro Shalakar Agari Ro Old Man Rejuvenated, 1860. In this time, Michael Madhusudan Dutt emerged as the first epic poet of modern Bengali literature. Dutt, a Christian by conversion, is best known for his Ramayana-based masterpiece, The Slaying of Migna, in Bengali, Migna Bodh Kabio, Meghanada Bada Kabia, which essentially follows in the poetic tradition of Milton's Paradise Lost. Those who have read it consider this work a world-class epic poem of the modern era. Michael Madhusudan Dutta is also credited with the introduction of sonnets to Bengali literature. He ruled the Bengali literature world for more than a decade 1858 Dutt can also be credited to be a pioneer of the blank verse in Bengali literature. His style was deemed as Amitrakshar Chanda. <laughs> Bankam Chandra Chattopadhyay Bankam Chandra Chattopadhyay is considered one of the leading Bengali novelist and essayist of the 19th century. His first novel Durgeshnandini, considered a benchmark in the history of Bengali literature, was published in 1865. He also wrote, Vand Mataram, the national song of India, which appears in his novel Anandamath his other novels include, Kapalkandala, Bishabriksha, Krishnakantarwal, Rajsinga, Devi Chaturani etc. Bankam Chandra has critically analyzed the Bhagavad Gita and the problems of Krishnaism from a historical perspective in his Dharmatattva and Krishna Charitra Kamalakantar Daptar is one of his best-known humorous sketches. Topic others Bengali literature has also produced many other notable talents. For example, famous and popular Bengali poets include Ishwar Chandra Gupta, Biharalal Chakraborty, and Kekobad. Romesh Chunder Dutt and Mir Musharraf Hossein are notable for their works of fiction. Gurish Chandra Ghosh and Dwajendralal Ray were prominent playwrights of the time, whereas Akshay Kumar Boral and Ramendra Sundar Tribedi are famous for their influential essays. Rasundari Devi authored the first full fledged autobiography in modern Bengali literature in 1876. This era also saw a rise in new literary publications, magazines, and newspapers. A number of educational institutes also appeared all over the region. Both these developments helped to nurture and advance the modern Bengali literary movement. The pre Tagore era also saw an undercurrent of popular literature which was focused on daily life in contemporary Bengal. The prose style, as well as the humor in these works, were often crass, blunt and accessible. A masterpiece in this regard was Hudam Pekar Naksha the sketch of the owl written by Kaliprasana Singha, and satirically depicts Babu culture in 19th century Kolkata. Other notable works in this regard are Alailar Gorur Dulal the spoilt brat by Peri Chand Mitra, Ramtanu Lahiri o Takkalan Banga Shamaj Ramtanu Lahiri and Contemporary Bengali Society by Nyemoan Tarkalankar, and Naba Babu Bilas and Naba Bibi Bilas by Babanicharan Bandopadi. These books arguably portrayed contemporary Bengali dialect and popular society effectively, and also incorporated now extinct music genres such as Kisti, Kur and Kabil gone by stalwarts like Rupchan Paki and Bola Moira. Books like these have become rarer since the emergence of Tagore culture, and the burgeoning preference for literary elegance and refinement in Bengali society. Influence of Rabindranath Tagore Possibly the most prolific writer in Bengali is Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. Tagore dominated both the Bengali and Indian philosophical and literary scene for decades. His 2000 Rabindrasangeets play a pivotal part in defining Bengali culture, both in West Bengal and Bangladesh. He is the author of the national anthems of both India and Bangladesh, both composed in Bengali. Other notable Bengali works of his are Gitanjali, a book of poems for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913, and many short stories and a few novels. 
It is widely accepted that Bengali literature accomplished its contemporary look by the writings and influence of Rabindranath. In the fields of drama and satire, he influenced and created a very worthy posterity of him in Natyaguru Neural Momin. Neural Momin was an educationist, playwright, director, humorist, lawyer, broadcaster, philanthropist and essayist of Bangladesh. He is recognized as the pioneer of modern Bengali drama, acting as a bridge between earlier and later playwrights in terms of content and style, and even referred to as the father of Bangladeshi theatre. Qazi Nasrul Islam In the similar category is Qazi Nasrul Islam, who was invited to post partition Bangladesh as the national poet he had been suffering from dementia and aphasia since 1942 and whose work transcends sectarian boundaries. Adored by Bengalis both in Bangladesh and West Bengal, his work includes 3,000 songs, known as both as Nasrul Giti and Nasrul Sangeet. He is frequently called the ''Rebel Poet'', mainly because of his most famous and electrifying poem, ''Bidrohi'' or ''The Rebel'', and also because of his strong sympathy and support for revolutionary activities leading to India's independence from British rule. His songs and poems were frequently used during the Bangladesh Liberation War as well. Though he is acknowledged as the Rebel Poet, Nasrul very effectively contributed in all branches of literature. He wrote poems that light the fire against inequality or injustice and at the same time is known for his poignant romantic poems as well. He wrote a lot of Islami ghazals and in the same time wrote a number of Shyama Sangeet songs for the Hindu mother goddess, Kali. Nasrul was not only a poet, he was writer, musician, journalist and philosopher. He was sent to jail for his literary works against the then prevailing British rule. Other notable names <inaudible> Playwrights After Rabindranath Tagore, two dramatists radically brought about a major change in Bengali theatre. One was Neural Momin and the other was Bijan Bhattacharya. Neural Momin created the first modern and experimental plays from East Bengal, which later became East Pakistan and subsequently, Bangladesh. Neural Momin also known as Natyaguru, was an educationist, playwright, director, humorist, lawyer, broadcaster, philanthropist and essayist of Bangladesh. He is recognized as the pioneer of modern Bengali drama, acting as a bridge between earlier and later playwrights in terms of content and style and even referred to as the father of Bangladeshi theatre. Novelists Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay was one of the most popular novelists of early 20th century whose speciality was exploring the life and suffering of women in contemporary rural Bengal. His sympathy towards the common rural folks in Palisamage and a trademark simplified Bengali as a writing style made him one of the most popular writers in his time. Even long after his death many Bengali and Bollywood blockbusters were based on his novels. After him Tarashankar Bandopadi, Babudabushan Bandopadi and Manak Bandopadi were the three Bandopadis who broke out into a new era of realistic writing style. Where Babudabusan and Manik had long-standing influence on the two of the most brilliant film directors from Bengal, Satyajit Ray and Ritwik Ghatak respectively. Other famous Bengali novelists include Humayun Ahmed, Jagadish Gupta, Satinath Baduri, Balai Chand Mukhopadhyay Banaful, Shakat Osman, Saradindu Bandopadi, Kamal Kumar Majumdar, Sunil Gangopadhyay, Syed Shamsul Haq, Akhtaruzaman Elias, Sandipan Chattopadhyay, Bimal Mitra, Bimal Kar, Samarish Basu, Mani Shankar Mukherjee Shankar, Shyamal Gangopadhyay and Amar Mitra. Humayun Ahmed is one of the most popular Bengali writers of fiction and drama. Seeds of Bengali science fiction are evident in the writings of Jagadish Chandra Bose, which was later put into a definite genre by writers such as Jagadananda Roy, Begum Rokwia Sakawat Hussain, and Premendra Mitra, Satyajit Ray. Professor Muhammad Zafar Iqbal, Humayun Ahmed and Abdullah al muti are also very popular in this genre. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Short story writers. Bengali literature is also famous for short stories. Some famous short story writers are Rabindranath Tagore, Manik Bandopadhyay, Jagadish Gupta, Tarashankar Bandopadhyay, Babudabhushan Bandopadhyay, Rajshikhar Basu, Parasuram, Syed Moitaba Ali, Premendra Mitra, Kamal Kumar Majumdar, Shibram Chakrabarti, Saradindu Bandopadhyay, Subodh Ghosh, Narendranath Mitra, Narayan Gangopadhyay, Satyajit Ray, Leela Majumdar, Shershendu Mukhopadhyay, Ratan Lal Basu, Sandi Panchatopadhyay, Samir Roychoudhury, Subhamal Bas. Basak, Basudeb Dasgupta, Abani Dar Subhamal Mishra, Syed Walula, Amar Mitra, Shakat Osman, Akhtaruzaman Ilyas, Hassan Azizul Huq, Shahidul Zahir, etc. Poets Rajanikanda Sen, Atulprasad Sen, Dwajendralal Ray, Jatindramoan Bagchi, Kumid Ranjan Muluk, Kazi Nazrul Islam, Jaibanananda Das, along with Buddhadeva Bose, marks the beginning of the major move to transcend the Tagore legacy. Commonly called, Pali Kobi, pastoral poet, Jasimuddin, Shamsur Rahman, widely known for his playing with words are also notable. Others are Al Mahmud, Sayyid Abubakar, Abul Hassan and Abdul Manan Syed. Musicians Seminal Hindu religious works in Bengali include the many songs of Ramprasad Senator His works still sung today from the 17th century cover an astonishing range of emotional responses to the goddess Kali, detailing complex philosophical statements based on Vedanta teachings and more visceral pronouncements of his love of the goddess. They are known as Shyama Sangeet and were the literary inspiration for Qazi Nasrul Islam's later, famed Shyama Sangeet. There are also the laudatory accounts of the lives and teachings of the Vaishnava Saint Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the and Sri Ramakrishna, the Ramakrishna Kathamrita, translated roughly as Gospel of Ramakrishna. There is also a large body of Islamic literature, that can be traced back at least to Nornama by Abdul Hakim. Bishad Sindhu depicting the death of Hussain in Karbala is very popular novel written by Mir Musharraf Hussain. Later works influenced by Islam include devotional songs written by Nasrul, and popularized by Abbas Adin, among others. <laughs> <laughs> Balls and traditional singers The mystic balls of the Bengal countryside who preached the boundless spiritual truth of Soho Path, the simple, natural path, and Monar Manush, a person of the heart, drew on Vedantic philosophy to propound transcendental truths in song format, traveling from village to village proclaiming that there was no such thing as Hindu, Muslim, or Christian, only Monar Manush. The literature discussed so far can be more or less regarded as the common heritage of both Bangladesh and West Bengal. Since the partition of Bengal in 1947, the east and west parts of Bengal have also developed their own distinctive literatures. For example, the Naxalite movement has influenced much of West Bengal's literature, whereas the Liberation War has had a similarly profound impact on Bangladeshi literature. <laughs> Major literary figures in East Bengal Bangladesh Nurul Momin, Syed Walula, Shahid Allah Kaiser, Shakat Osman, Asan Habib, Farak Ahmed, Syed Ali Asan, Syed Shamsul Haq, Abu Zafar Obaidullah, Sufia Kamal, Al Mahmud, Abubakar Sadiq, Ghulam Murshid, Hassan Azizul Huq, Selina Hossein, Aranab Sarkar, Shakat Ali, Akhtaruzaman Ilyas, Rafiq Azad, Nirmalandu Goon, Taslima Nazrin, Abul Hassan, Abid Azad, Humayun Ahmed, Muhammad Zafar Iqbal, Hassan Hafizur Rahman, Shahid Quadri, Khandakar Ashraf Hossein, and Helal Hafiz to name a few. <inaudible> West Bengal literature 
Nihar Ranjan Gupta, Ashutosh Mukhopadhyay, Kamal Kumar Majumdar, Sunil Gangopadhyay, Nabanita Dev Sen, Syed Mustafa Siraj, Shershendu Mukhopadhyay, Samarish Basu, Atin Bindiopadhyay, Sandipan Chattopadhyay, Shakti Chattopadhyay, Mahasweta Devi, Moti Nandi, Bimal Kar, Narayan Gangopadhyay, Shankar, Suchitra Bhattacharya, Bani Basu, Buddhadeb Guha, Abdul Jabbar, Amar Mitra, Satyajit Ray and others. Topic: 1947 to 1965. Rajshikar Basu, 1880 to 1960, was the best-known writer of satiric short story in Bengali literature. He mocked the charlatanism and vileness of various classes of the Bengali society in his stories written under the pseudonym Parashoram. His major works include Gadalika 1924, Kajwali 1927, Hanumanar Swapna 1937, Gamanush Jatir Katha 1945, Dastramaya Ichadi Galpa 1952, Krishna Kali Atadi Galpa 1953, Niltara Atadi Galpa 1956, Anandibai Atadi Galpa 1958 and Chamat Kumari Atadi Galpa 1959. He received the Rabindra Paraskar, the highest literary award of Pashambanga in 1955 for Krishna Kali Ichadi Galpa. Raj Sheskar was also a noted lexicographer, translator and essayist. His Chalantika is one of the most popular concise Bengali dictionaries, while his Bengali language translations of Megaduta the Ramayana the Mahabharata and the Bhagavad Gita are also acclaimed. His major essays are included in Laghuguru and Bichinda .Important novelists and short story writers of post-independence West Bengal are Jagadish Gupta (1886–1957), Tarasankar Bindiopadhyay (1889–1971), Babudabushan Bindiopadhyay (1894–1950), Premendra Mitra (1904–1988), Manik Bindiopadhyay (1908–1956), Babu. Bhushan Mukhopadhyay (1894–1987), Sharadindu Bindiopadhyay (1899–1970), Achintya Kumar Sengupta (1903–1986), Anadashankar Roy (1904–2002), Buddhadeb Basu (1908–1974), Satnath Baduri (1906–1965), Narayan Gangopadhyay (1918–1970), and Subodh Ghosh (1900–1980). Noted poets of this age are Jibanananda Das (1899–1954), Sudhindranath Dutta (1901–1960), Bishnu Day (1909–1982), Amaya Chakrabarti (1901–1986), Samar Sen (1916–1987), Subhas Mukhopadhyay (1919–2003), and Sukanta Bhattacharya (1926–1947). Major dramatists include Sachin Sengupta (1892–1961) and Bidhayak Bhattacharya (1907–1986). Prominent prose writers of this age are Suniti Kumar Chattopadhyay (1890–1977), Sukumar Sen (1900–1992), and Pramathanath Bishi (1901–1985). Hungrialism One of the path-breaking literary movements in West Bengal is known as the Hungry Generation or Hungrialism. The famous poets of this movement are Malay Roy Choudhury, Shakti Chattopadhyay, Benoit Majumdar, Utpal Kumar Basu Samir Roy Choudhury, Falguni Roy, and Tridib Mitra. The fiction writers are Sandipan Chattopadhyay, Basudeb Dasgupta, Subhamal Basak, Malay Roy Choudhury and Samir Roy Choudhury. The painters are Anil Karanjai and Karanadan Mukhopadhyay. In 2011 director Srijit Mukherjee incorporated the Hungry Generation movement into mainstream cinema when he directed Beishe Sraban wherein famous film director Gautam Ghosh portrayed the role of an anti-establishment Hungrialist poet. Muragankashakar Ganguly directed and produced a short film based on Malay Roy Choudhury's poem Stark Electric Jesus. Prakalpana movement 
Prakalpana movement, branded by Steve LeBlanc, the noted U.S. critic, as a tiny literary revolution, nurtured by Kolkata, has been fostering its new genres of Prakalpana fiction, Sarbangan poetry, and Chetanavyasism for over four decades, spearheaded by Vatachara Chandan, beginning in 1969. It is probably the only bilingual Bengali -English literary movement in India mothered by Bengali literature, that has spread its wings worldwide through the participation of well-known international avant-garde writers and male artists such as Richard Kostelanitz, John M. Bennett, Sheila Murphy, Don Webb, with notable Bengali poets, writers and artists like Vatachara Chandan. See also History of Bengali literature Hungry generation Prakalpana movement New Age Bengali literature Bengali novels List of notable writers List of Bengali language authors chronological List of Bengali language authors alphabetical Ghosts in Bengali culture <laughs>